What is up everyone? This is Hurricane090 and we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 rooms within the room event of Tavern. We are in season 22, room 9 out of 10. We are so close to the end of this season, so let's go ahead and take a look at the top 10 currently for Tavern. But first, we do have an honorable mention. We have Ansi Ari at 24th place with 1,290 votes. Now this looks like a very old fashioned type of tavern here, just look at it. We have all the different types of fancy event type of creatures here. We have the maiden, we have the centaur, we have the witch. We also have the merlin including the fawn and the dwarf here. And what is a tavern without the people in the robes here? You don't even know their identity. Are they the good guys, the bad guys, or just people just passing by within this tavern here? Or maybe this is all just cosplay because we do have a modernized type of register here too in this tavern. And hey, there's 2 Central right there, so this may be a modern tavern. This all could be just a tavern from a convention nearby here. But even then, all the cosplay? Very, very fancy indeed. We even have Captain Blackbeard here too. Overall, all the little details here just is wonderful. We have the bear rug, we also have ourselves the cellar here. A every tavern or bar has a cellar. Just mainly, everything just looks nice. Even the uses of the benches here too. Just to make an even line along with the table or desk here. A lot of work has been put into this room and it absolutely shows for it. Now on to the top 10. In 10th place, we have Kitty Cats Games at 1,671 votes. And this is a very nice tavern. Just look at it. We have so many different people here. A lot of the people from the fantasy event. Because whenever you think of tavern, you always think of the fantasy type of deal. Or the medieval times, whenever there's a tavern around, you just go over there and you find all types of characters there. We have the pirate, we have the MMA fighter, we have ourselves the guy in shrouded cloaks, then we also have ourselves the table right there with the merlin and as well as the dwarf. We also have a skeleton there too. Nobody's fighting along with each other, at least that is good. But hey, at least we have a person playing music in this fine tavern. Overall, this is a very clean design tavern. Coming in in 9th place with 1,756 votes, we have Bavy. So in this tavern, we have ourselves a dancer here, just look at that. We also have Mini PewDiePie dancing as well along with the music from the fawn. We have Captain Blackbeard right there serving up some beer. We also have more pirates here, so this may be a pirate owned tavern here. But hey, this may be more modern because there is a bit of a TV here, just look at that. Oh, looks like this is more modern than I thought. But even then, the amount of pixel cubes you use to make this tavern here too, and it shows how much work you put into this tavern, and it adds a little bit more detail, and as well as more depth to the whole type of tavern. Just an elevated platform in a different section of the tavern. Coming in in 8th place with 1,804 votes, we have It's Jasper X. And it looks like we have more of a fantasy theme going on here that we have ourselves the hero and the maiden and it looks like the maiden is having a great time here. But then on the other table looks like we have a little bit of a disagreement between the two dwarves. A nice use of using Curl the cat pixeling as an aesthetic type of animal just to roam around the tavern. They gotta catch the mice somehow because you gotta keep them out too. One thing I will note is that I've never seen an upstairs to a bathroom before. That is new to me. Coming in in 7th place with 1,816 votes, we have Kamaji. And in this tavern, we have pirates. Pirates everywhere. And we also have the dwarves here, including Captain Blackbeard here too. At least we have a witch brewing up some beer and as well as some drinks here for everybody. Not all witches are bad. And I didn't know that Grande existed in this era. That's pretty cool. The one thing I am confused about is that next to the gourd there is this item. I have never seen that item before or either that I just don't know exactly what it is. That is a strange one to me. Can anyone tell me what that is? Please let me know in the comment section. Coming in the 6th place with 1,896 votes we have Daffy Lou. And it looks like we have a very very busy tavern here. That we have Captain Blackbeard, we have ourselves everybody else with the pirates and including some other Blackbeards here too. 
It looks like it's just a gathering of all the pirates and their captains here, having a great time here. And I say that this is more a realistic type of tavern because there's a lot of mess everywhere, there's some broken bottles and there's also some rats. Just as long as they're not getting in the way of everyone, then I guess that this is the type of tavern that you would expect to see in this type of era. So bonus points on the realisticness of this tavern. Coming in in 5th place with 1,908 votes, we have Esso Plays. And we have a pirate themed type of tavern here as well. Captain Blackbeard is holding up his little beer steen. And then we have everybody else here just having a great time. They are just going to have a bit of a good time before they're going to go out to sea looking for more treasure. And speaking of treasure, we have Mimic right there and we also have Prisma Mimic there too. But business is booming for the tavern owner here. Coming in in 4th place with 1,925 votes, we have Sistrin. And in this tavern, we have books here. Oh, isn't that great? Uh, people could actually read while they drink, just as long as they don't get the drink all over the books here. Very nice shelving right there, very nice design. Everyone is here, everyone's having a great time here too. We have one captain in his crew, we have the other captain in his crew, and we, then we have dwarves here, we have fawns, I don't think, we, oh yes, there is a fawn right there. And we also have elves, I think that is an elf, I don't know what else can you call it. Maybe not so much as an elf, or it could be, there could be small elves, I don't even know, I don't even remember. Feel free to let me know in the comments section, this is just one of the forest creatures here. But you can say it's more modern because we do have a mounted bass, and as well as that we have ourselves a clock on a wall. But hey, even then, this is a very nice designed type of tavern, especially when you're able to read here. Granted, I'm not too sure if pirates know how to read. So congratulations to everyone else on the top 10. So now we are into the top 3 with 1,927 votes. In third place, we have Nancy. And in this tavern, we have ourselves a pool table. And it looks like that we have ourselves a skull on top of the pool table. Okay, so that went dark real quick. But even then, this is a Pirate's Tavern type of deal here. So many treasure chests, so many anchors, so many things going on. We have ourselves a cannon directly pointed to the owner here. Is this a robbery? This could be a robbery or a takeover. I have no idea what's going on here. But just as long as everyone else is having a fun time, that's all that matters, right? Coming in in second place with 1,974 votes, we have Misbehaven. And we have a lot of activity going on in this tavern. That we have some chips, we have some dogs right there. Oh, isn't that cute? Just look at the doggo right there. Captain Blackbeard is here, we have some checkers here. Then we also have two dogs just chilling along the side of the fireplace. Now, isn't that cute? We have the maiden as the bartender. We also have another helper type of person working along with the beers and the alcohol right there. And we have ourselves an old fashioned music player here. If I'm not mistaken, that is a phonograph. Hopefully that I got the name correctly here. But overall, everyone is having a great time here. And last, but certainly not least, because you are in first place with 2,064 votes, we have Dodgy Dave. And we have a lot of activity here, that we already have one person going up the stairs, that we have ourselves the Viking, the owner of the tavern with all the different types of goods he is selling. Captain Blackbeard is here, we have everybody else, we have some adventurers, we have ourselves a dwarf, we also have everything else that makes the more realisticness of this entire tavern. Especially the grass patches all over the flooring here. We also have some roaches here too. We have one fawn playing his flutes and then we also have another fawn playing the organ here. So we have live entertainment all around this room. And we even have a card game here, just for the fact that everyone wants to make money one way or another. Then one Captain Blackbeard is getting his fortune told, so hopefully he's going to have some good fortune along his way. But overall, just look at this room, it's just oh so busy, oh so jam packed, and oh so realistic when you come to think about all the different types of detail that he has added. I just like the whole selection of different bottles on the shelves here. And again, nice use of using the benches to make yourself shelves. It really works well. A lot of other players have been doing that for their rooms. And it really shows how detailed and how everything looks so well blended in together. 
every room has made a consistent theme of how everything just looks with the type of coloring of the desks, the tables, and the walls, and everything else around them. So that's one thing to appreciate for every room so far. So congratulations in being number one in the Tavern Event Dodgy Dave. So these are the top 10 rooms within the Tavern Event for Season 22, Room 9 out of 10. So which room did you like the most? Let us know in the comment section below by leaving down their name and as well as what did you like about their rooms. Any compliments that you may have will probably make their day whenever they get around to seeing this video and reading the comments. So congratulations to the top 3, the top 10, and especially the top 100. All your hard work is well deserved for these rooms. And if you want to see a montage of the top 100 rooms, then be sure to check out Tuber Central's channel. The link to his video and as well as the channel will be linked in the annotations and as well as in the description below. We only have one more room to go for season 22 and I cannot wait to see what the next room will be for the top 10. But this is going to be the end of this video, so if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave a like. If you're brand new to the channel and want to see more content, videos, and live streams in the future, then be sure to subscribe. Feel free to leave down your PewDiePie Tube Simulator username and as well as the network you're in in the comment section below. Have more friends, have more followers, have more gifts, have more people join your network, and have more fun playing the game every single day as they're going to continue to update this game every month. And as always, have a great day everyone, I've been SolarKings090 and I will see you again in the next video or live stream.